Hello guys, welcome to Shower's Means Business. Today, come close. We're bringing you to how Harper Space started its small but encouraging catfish farm. The hub manager is around and we're going to be talking to Douglas. So stick around, don't go anywhere. You'll learn a lot if you really would want to go into catfish farming. This was an experiment they undertook in order for them to learn first-hand information as to how this animal is to be read. Yeah, Douglas, it's good you are here. You are a hub manager. This is at you guys, your office. Mm -hmm. And it's fascinating how you've been able to come up with this idea so that people can replicate in their homes. Mm -hmm. I want to know the initial cost. Um, the tank is how much and the fingerlings was, I understand, is 100. Yes, so um, one is one CD for the fingerlings. And the one is one CD? Yes. Okay, so 100 is just 100 CDs. Just 100 CDs. And oh, the God. tank is 600. Actually, I had I had initial knowledge about it. Mm -hmm. But this was, as you said, it's a control. Mm -hmm. for Because these are not the ideal conditions. Yeah, I know. I wanted to see in extreme cases how would how would they, um, so that is the reason why at times you are not feeding them. Yes. So that you get to know, know how how to mm, they are and all that. So that when you are informing people, you know that because you wanted to see some of the businesses that are do, the risk level are manageable. Okay. So for new entries mm. that have higher chance of or, of succeeding, even if your knowledge level is not that high. So that in case the hub is giving them funding, funding you will be able to mend. Some of these first things. hand, yes. Mm. Some of these this is a noble things. idea, yes. So mm. that is why we did that. And thankfully, with any IP training that we had, we've mm -hmm. had a couple of so we've now formed a catfish farming group, Ashanti region. Okay, because now we've been able to identify a lot of people that have interest in it, mm. and then we, then with the knowledge we have, and also the experts within our community, mm. we're sure we can support them with knowledge, and then they'll be able to start something on their own. So, in total. The tank is um, 600. 600 and the fish was 100 cities. And the feeding, so far, he says it's nearly three, uh, five weeks or five months. Five months. Yeah, more than, let's say six months. Six months. Yes. Uh -huh. Did you record the feed costs up to now so that we let's get say, to know roughly? With, we started with the initial 300 fingerlings. Okay. Yes. But the thing is, we bought the first sack and we used it for like three months. And Why was, was that? That was like let's say 125 cities. Mm, okay. Because then they are small. Small, so they, don't eat, they much. don't eat much. So then I then so it means that the initial cost then when they grow, maybe what you do, so you have one and a half months they will consume um, a five um, a five um, fifty kg um, mm. sack of let me see let me see that one. Let, let's type uh, yeah, turn it turn it around. Okay. okay. So they will consume Ranan so you fish have, let's say, feed. One, okay. One one and a half months. And mm. that is also like 125. And so so far you've used only two. So we used three of three them. of the sacks. Yeah, of so them. in total, like 370. Like, like, mm, 500, 600 ish. 500. 600. Mm, 500. And okay. now you see with this we have two types. What we we'll call the smoke size and then the table size. Okay. What's the difference? The smoke size is the ones that the women smoke and then they sell. They sell. Mm -hmm. But we have the tables that are those that are used by restaurants and joints for mm -hmm. grilling. Mm. So at, when they are three months, they are ready. They are at the smoke size level. So okay. And we sold off to the fishmongers for them to smoke. At what and price? So, and so it's a kg is at fifteen cents. One mm. kg. They, we sell by uh, kilograms. So one kg is fifteen cents. Then for the for the ones processed, then that is about six months. So for the, that is what we call the table size. So those mm. are the ones that are grilled. So those, they can pick it up from you, 50 cities, 60 cities. Because sometimes they sell it as high as 80 and 120, depending on the size. Mm. So you have joints like point and grill and all of that. That's what we do. But the major thing that I would encourage somebody who wants to go into it is one, the looking at the marketing part of it. I think that it has been choked. It is choked with the finch mongers. So now the of power they have a lot of power determining the price i see so a lot of people are doing it a lot of it, but they are not adding value what they do you mean by they are not adding value they, are, they just do it and they are waiting for the fishmongers to come and buy hmm. now what i will encourage with people especially when you start think about the whole process 
what value can you add are you going to grill it and then maybe start a joint where mm -hmm. you can sell it mm -hmm. then you retain a lot of margin okay instead of just selling, selling the fresh fish fresh which mostly mm. the margin is very it's not that big compared to that so mm. think about the process there can be innovative ways we can use this and i would i would want you to give me one or two innovative ways for my viewers mm -hmm. because uh, I like the way you are saying the, when they, they uh, are matured, you need to add value. Yes. So I would want you to give me innovative ways that so they can with the smoking, put. Mm -hmm. With the smoking, what you can do is that there are some of their processes that they smoke. A friend of mine is able to smoke it and one year is still fresh. Yes. Wow. There's one he's able to... It wouldn't, it wouldn't go have back. any wouldn't go back. Mm, so problems. So process goes to. That is one of the ways. So then lean seasons, you can sell it. Okay. Is it? And then, as I talked about the process in the grilling and all of that, I mean, there are a lot of now banku and all the uh, banku and fish joints and mm. all of that. This is way better. Mm. And relatively, they are stronger compared to tilapia. Mm. Tilapia are fragile. Yeah. Yes, they can easily die. But these ones are able to adapt, they're able to survive. Because he was telling me that there has been instances where they are not fed for a whole week and they survive none of them dies some of them is more than more than two I, when i traveled to accra and mm -hmm. then we were having challenge i had to and he was busy he was also out of town we okay. were there for two months and none we are still survived <laughs> they still survived so that was and for me it was one of the lessons for me to pick because mm. even with little knowledge you can still you know sometimes these are businesses you want to recommend low risk Mm -hmm. business businesses for startups, mm. new bees in the entrepreneurial ecosystem i have a question douglas uh, the calculation the feed the tank and uh, the tank is a fixed cost mm. you're not going to buy a tank again right. but the feed and the fish mm -hmm. so when you add them after buying the tank let's say first one you don't make any profit mm -hmm. second one you won't buy any tank mm -hmm. so now you're going to be buying feed which is 500 mm -hmm. plus 100 CDs, mm. and you sell it for 15 CDs per one. Yeah. So, in essence, you will make like 1,000 profits yes. after the six months, seven months. And it's even, not a bad investment. It's not. And that is three months. The 15 is sold after three months. So oh, you okay. You use less food. Less food, yes. So, so it's not going to be. have been like six months. That's what we're talking about. That. So mm. it means you can use like two sacks. And and when they are matured, when they are matured, that is what I'm talking about. Fifty cities per one. Per one. Catfish. Yes, I, yeah, you can. I can show you that they are some wow. as big as my arm length. Yeah. Really? Yes. How do I catch some? You have a net? No, you, they will hurt you. <laughs> yeah. They will hurt you. Don't put your hands in. <laughs> oh, okay. So they are as big as my. Arm so how come they were all put in here the same day, but some so are bigger with, than others? With, with the, they say they have some we call shooters. Mm -hmm. You know, they grow faster than the others. So what you do is that ideally you sort after month. Because mm -hmm. you see that the shooters would have taken the lead in terms of growth. So they they take the food quicker as as it comes. I mean, it's no, it's nature. Nature, like they yeah. Eat more. But that's it's uh, like, just like human beings, we have you. fat people, yeah, slim yes. people, tall people, uh, short people. So that we have mm. shooters. So you, what you do is that you sort it out and then you put it in another tank. Mm. Other than that, when they grow, they may feed on the small ones. Really? Yes, that is one of the things. Mm. So you sort, and then those of the same size, relatively, they stay in the same pond. How do you clean the tank? How often do you clean the tank? So you do that daily daily yes you clean this tank daily yes. that's why your water is that clean yes. and when it goes commercial will you be able to have the capacity to clean this daily there are systems we built where there's outlet and inlet inlet so it goes yes, through so that thing so like, like the swimming pool the water always stays clean mm. so what what system do you use in cleaning it oh, so what we do is that we drain it we have a brush that we use mm. and then we we brush them up because we do it daily mostly it's not that dirty Yes, so, we so you brush. let me see the brush. You use this brush mm -hmm. to do the cleaning while they are in. Yes. And what happens? So what happens is that they move to when there is when the water goes, they move to a particular. Ah, so you reduce the water. Yeah, we reduce yes. the water. Okay. We reduce the water. There is an outlet down there. Mm. So there's an outlet. We just have I have seen it. One day pass through and come out. So what you do depending on the size. Ah, you you you, you reduce it small. Yeah, reduce okay. It. And then so when you do the cleaning. 
when the water goes out, then you put additional one. Yes. Okay, and I get the it. The advice is that it's best to use natural water, mm. mean, like rain water, rain water, like well water, mm. and all of that. You know, with this one, chlorine is added to it. Or as they are in. No, like I'm saying with the process. With the, with the, the tap, uh, the there's tap water, there's chlorine. Mm. And that's why you've left it in the sand. Okay, so that so when it rains, the naturally. So it's the, the chlorine is evaporated by the sand. Mm. So it reduces the amount of chlorine in the water. Okay. Yes, yeah, so because too much chlorine is not good for them. Mm. So even if you have another tank, the ideal thing is to store the water in that overnight before you move you it. You move them in. Mm. And that's why I said this was to test all of that. All of that. Mm. What will happen with all of that. But they survived generally. What, what will be your last words for people so, watching who have the zeal to start fish farming in their backyard? I said, so no matter what the thing is, at mm -hmm. it, at, it gets to a point you must get into the, the business. Mm -hmm. But there are lessons I got, nobody told me. And I'm not sure I would have gotten if I hadn't started. Because it's in peculiar cases mm. and all of that. There may be the general ones you know, mm. but there are things you only pick when you are in the business. when you are in the business. Hands, Hands on. on. Yeah. Mm. So I would encourage start small. Of course, get the basic knowledge. Start small and then grow it from there. Now with this, with what I know and all the connections I have, I can do make five thousand at with a, a go. higher rate of mm. um, um, success, success. Mm. because mm. of the knowledge I've, I've gained from mm. doing it. So that's. That's what I and you were talking about the market being saturated where the market women have the right to decide how much they should give so if you recommend that people should start and they get into it big how are they going to get market so this is what i would say have your your niche to think through the whole process don't make selling become an afterthought so are you thinking about going in for the women it's good there's nothing wrong but there's a process we run it mm. you know that one after three months it's a smoke side so fast you sell it fast so there should be a lot of turnover, turnover. Mm. so you take good care of them so that by the third month you're able to sell, sell them, them. Mm. you replenish you sell them off that is the other way but if you also want to go into the smoke side the table the table side mm. then there is a way you also go about it are you looking at starting your own joint are you linking up with um, other restaurants. So, there are a lot of restaurants now, they are not selling catfish. Mm. But you can sell the idea to them, create that demand for them, and mm. let them try it and see. Okay. And then, then they become your customers and you can work with them. Mm. So the whole idea is that before you start, think through the whole process how you are going to start it, how you are going to feed them, and how you are going to sell them off. And then carve your, the niche for yourself. Thank you very much, Douglas, for taking us through this.